what's the deal, y'all? Now, I'm starting to realize more and more that the main difference and one of the main differences between chosen ones and a regular person, the masses, is chosen ones do not compete with anyone. You do not see competition with anyone other than yourself. While everyone else seems to be and are competing against each other. Friends against friends. Family members against family members. Teammates against teammates. Everybody wants to seem like they are better than someone or want to be better than someone in some way. Want to have more money. Want to have more followers. Want to seem more relevant. Want their, want their relationship to seem better than the next person's relationship. You see what I'm saying? And they don't understand that the only way you can win, the only way you can win this, this life, win this race, is if you're racing against yourself. And chosen ones understand that. Chosen ones understand that the only person that they need to be going up against is who they were yesterday. You see what I'm saying? And that's why chosen ones are always going to win because they figure out, they know what life is about. They know how to succeed. They know how to better themselves. They know how to be happy. It's too much stuff going on in this world. It's too much, too many things that we were programmed with when we were kids, when we had no, no idea what was going on that we need to break, that we need to, we need to rewire our minds. Too many things that we have to fix in ourselves to be worrying about the next person, the next man. See what I'm saying? That's why the masses are where they are. That's why they're stuck in this 3D because they're not looking within themselves. They're not working on themselves. They're not competing with themselves. They're too busy looking outside of themselves. They're missing the point. They're missing what it's all about. And social media and all this stuff just feeds right into it. Right into it. Right into the ego. All you have to do, and, 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 and chosen ones understand that all you have to do is create. You understand that if you succeed or if the next person succeeds, it's not going to stop you from succeeding. It's not going to stop you from reaching your goal. Chosen ones understand that someone else shining is not going to dim their light. Chosen ones understand that everybody has their own calling. Everybody has their own life. Everybody has their own time. Just because someone's winning right now and you're not winning, you understand that your time is going to come. You understand that just because somebody's on top, if you're on top today, doesn't mean that you, can, you can't fall off. It doesn't mean that something can change. See what I'm saying? So that's why chosen ones constantly are working on themselves, working to, to better themselves, no matter where you are in life. If you are extremely successful, you still understand that you have to continue to grow, continue to better yourself, continue to break the, the bad habits you have, the toxic habits that you have, continue to fight against those negative thoughts. Chosen ones don't have time to be worried about the next person. There's too much stuff going on inside of you, too many mental attacks, too many spirits, too much, too much spiritual warfare. And the masses are looking and worrying about what you're doing. Looking over, looking to the left, looking to the right, wondering what the next person doing, what well, they should be looking, they need to be looking straight ahead. Chosen ones have blinders on at all times. You see, and that's one thing I, I realized that I, I always did even before I knew I was chosen even before I was the person that I was I am today. I never I never cared and I still don't to this day care about the next man, the next person. I was always focused on what I was doing, and that's how I got to where I am today. I never hated on hated on hated on nobody. If anything, people's success around me, people being successful. Me seeing people being successful, all it did was let me know that I can do it too. Especially people that were from where I was from. 
every time someone was, was successful, I, I cheered for them. I want people around me. I wanted people around me to be successful because I, I, I saw and I knew that if they can do it, shit, I can do it too. Instead of wanting, wanting to compete. You see what I'm saying? I always just wanted to be better than, than, than I was. I always wanted to, I don't know, I always was just worrying about beating me. I was obsessed with beating the, the person I was. I was. I never wanted to be stagnant. And that's the only way you can reach your, your goal. That's the only way you can get to the place that you want to get to is beating yourself. Because nobody has the same life. Nobody has the same path. And people are missing that. People are looking at other people, not knowing what, the, what, what they've been through, not knowing how hard they work, not knowing... The things that the most high put aside them and they're competing against them. They're looking at them. You see what I'm saying? They're looking at you, wanting you to fall off so they can feel like they're ahead in your life. Wanting to pull you down so they can look, look at you and let you know that they're better than you, that they have something over you. That actually makes them feel good seeing that they're doing better than someone else. You see what I'm saying? They're missing the point. The masses are missing the point. People are missing the point. And it's even crazier that you or that people will want to compete with their, their friends, their family members, people in their circle. It makes no sense, man. It's extremely weird to me, bro. It's weird. It's weird, bro. Chosen. That's that's the main, that's one of the main differences that I'm starting to realize, man, because I see people. I, whenever I go on social media, whenever I'm around people, I can just, I don't know, I see a lot of competition towards other people. You see what I'm saying? And chosen ones figured it out. You figured it out a long time ago. You see what I'm saying? That's why you are always seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, trying to better yourself. These people that are Competing with other people, they will never read self-development videos, be on this YouTube channel, be on YouTube watching videos like this to gain knowledge, gain wisdom. Because they're missing the point. They don't understand that they need to better themselves. They need to level themselves up, bring themselves out of the situation that they're in, bring themselves up to the, to the next level. They're looking at him. They're looking at her seeing what they're doing and they're trying to do the same thing. They're trying to copy. They're trying to follow them and one up them. It makes no sense to me, bro. It's the weirdest thing and it starts to really make me mad. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, man, continue to compete against yourself. The only way you can win a race, win this race, this life is if you are racing against yourself. Keep those blinders on. Keep tunnel vision. Nobody else matters. See success. Understand that someone else being successful, especially in your circle, is letting you know that your success is right around the corner. You can do it too. See what I'm saying? Chosen ones, understand that everyone has their own, their own life, their own purpose. Chosen ones, understand that Someone else succeeding is not slowing them down. Chosen ones have an abundant mindset. You know that there is not a lack of anything. This world will make you think that there's a lack of money, a lack of resources, but it's not. And you know that. So the more and more people win, man, the better for everybody. The masses have a, a, a lack of a lack mindset. Uh, they feel like that just because you're winning, just because someone else winning, they they think it, it's it's not possible for them to win. They think it's a certain amount of tickets of success. They have to they have to get it before you get it. That's not the case. And that's why chosen ones are always going to win. That's why you are always going to be on top. That's why you are always going to succeed, man. Because you figured it out. You figured out a secret. I guess that's what it is because it seems that's what every, everybody's missing it. Everybody's missing that 
It's not a competition between you and them. It's a competition between you and you. You see what I'm saying? You and you. And if you're going against you, you cannot lose. <laughs> you must win. You see what I'm saying? Because I know myself, man, I'm all of the, the bad habits and the things I gotta, I had to break and still trying. That's not an easy job. So many things I had to get over, so many addictions, so many bad habits I have to fight every single day. I cannot be worrying about what somebody else is doing. You see what I'm saying? I cannot be looking to the left. I can't be looking to the right because I'm going to end up stumbling. I'm going to end up tripping every single time, pulling myself back, worrying about what somebody, what somebody else is doing. You feel me? So, yeah, continue to, to, to compete against yourself. Let them compete against you. Let them worry about, worry about what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? You're going to continue to win. They can continue to lose. You see what I'm saying? So if you made it to the end of the video, put in the comments, you versus you. Like the video or put me versus me. That makes more sense. Like the video. Drop a comment. Leave some inspiration for me. Some inspiration for anybody that's watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification bell because I'm going to be dropping a video every single day. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out.